How's it going guys? Altus Tech here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you guys this awesome blueprint effect. Uh, I've been using this blueprint effect a little bit uh, lately as uh, YouTube has now allowed regular users like me to upload uh, custom thumbnails which I've been taking advantage of and I've been using this effect for my SketchUp tutorial series thumbnails. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to achieve it. I've just come up with this uh, quick little example here which was really easy to do. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and open up this document. And as you can see, I've just implanted my image, which I've cropped out from the background. Uh, I believe it's an Audi R8. Beautiful car. And I've also go ahead, gone ahead and uh, added this background here of this uh, blueprint style texture. And uh, you can quickly find that with a uh, quick Google search on Google Images. Anyway, uh, basically all you have to do is go up to Filter with your... Uh, image layer selected. Go up to filter, go down to stylize and select find edges and something like this will happen. Um, now if your image has any color in it all you have to do is press control shift U and that'll take all the color out of your image because you don't want any color in your images uh, because it'll mess up this effect. Uh, but if your images don't, don't worry about it. Anyway, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, press control I which is going to invert the colors here and lastly, we're just going to go ahead and go over to the blending options or the uh, layer mode options and we're going to go ahead and select screen. And what that's going to do is it's going to take out all the black from our image and leave us with this cool white outline similar to a blueprint. Now, one other thing that you can do is we're just going to go ahead and go down here and we're going to select levels. We're going to right click here and we're just going to create uh, select create clipping mask and that's just going to allow us to add more lines if we want to so I think that's about good so you can adjust this as much as you'd like but I'm just going to leave that to a bit right there and just like that we're done uh, so yeah guys as you can see this effect is extremely easy and pretty effective I think it looks pretty realistic and pretty cool so you guys can use this for whatever you want background what have you and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, make sure to comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.